Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. The map's laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number 10, and we're going up against an alliance called La Patatari. Hope I didn't say anything that I will be embarrassed about. Uh, band, we're still in tier three. So Hercules, Hulkling, and Wiccan are banned. All right, so let's go in and see what they got planned for us. Okay. All right, so I Doom first up. And we also have Doom. Hmm. Not too worried about that Doom. He doesn't even get an armor up. This I Doom here is a global defender. Um. Honestly, Gladiator could handle that I Doom. I'm trying to think. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got Magneto here and Gladiator again. So, Gladiator and Magneto, we can handle that. And he has me going up against this Weapon X. You know I'm going to bring in um, Lady Deathstrike. So, yeah. Magneto, uh, Lady Deathstrike, and Gladiator. I think that will work. I know he is uh, Incinerate Immune, but... We don't care about that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking that will work. All right. I will propose that. Let's get to the fighting. All right. We're going in with Gladiator, Corvus, and Proxima Midnight. Now, before we get into it, I wanted to point out something if you guys see anything a little bit weird with the camera angles it's because i just put up you can see it right there right there what you're seeing right here are shelves for my poppables and my poppables are back there i may showcase that a little bit later but this is the only way you'll be able to see it because normally i'm gonna perhaps um be situated a little bit differently, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and keep it <clears throat> like this. I'm centered, you can see it. So let's go. All right, first fight is gonna be against infamous Iron Man. Now you see why I pause there is I'm trying to get the auto block because I wanna get the true strike up, but you'll see he's not auto blocking. <clears throat> he just, he don't wanna do it. And so I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fine. Let's just go with it. He don't he don't want to auto block. And so I'm like, here, let me let him get some health back, you know. Still. Alright, finally he got in evade. And immediately countered me, of course. But now he don't have any health. I'm like, you know what? Let me just get this guy down before some shenanigans happen and I get taken out. So we just got him down. Uh, we at least got our charges, but um, not the true strike. And I know I'm going to use Corvus later on in a fight that I really want that true strike uh, up already. All right. So next is going to be Doom. So we had Infamous Iron Man 
some people call I Doom, and now you have OG Doom, and I am using Gladiator. I'm telling you, I am really liking uh, Gladiator in War. I don't know what next season is gonna look like, but for my path, I can see him being a very, very big part of my team. So look at this, he's, he's, I just have to get, you know, a little bit more comfortable with him, but he's good. Don't ask, it happens. I didn't notice that I had a shock on me and he back slapped me. And so I'm like, you know what? Fine, you know, whatever. Bam, and then go into my special three. Now, I was thinking about going to a special two, but he doesn't really put up tons of armors. So um, he has that aura, but no armor. So I'm like, whatever. Okay, I just decided to take him out. Not Nothing fancy, just, just do gladiator. Okay, and I'm gonna get even more comfortable. That's why I'm using him a lot more, as you notice. I'm gonna get a lot more comfortable using him. One of the things that I have to stop doing is I'm trying to build up his confidence. And when I do that, I sometimes rush. And that's not good because I can rush into an intercept, rush into an evade and counter. Don't wanna do that. Play the fight, you know, and just relax. You know, now this fight here, uh, I remember uh, telling some of my alliance mates that Corvus is not good for this fight. Not that Corvus can't do it, but he's not good for it. And if you use Corvus against that future Ant-Man on that node, just know you're going to lose a lot of health, most likely. And you could, I, I, I say bleed out, but it's not really bleeding out. So this is something that we learned many years ago, like seven years ago. Corvus is immune to bleed debuffs, but he's not immune to any of the effects of the debuff. Okay, so on this node, you will get a bleed debuff, right? Corvus doesn't take damage from that. But if you read the node, each bleed debuff does direct damage. He's not immune to that. And that's why you see him getting bleed debuffs and taking damage. It's not technically the debuff of bleed. He's not bleeding out. He's taking a lot of direct damage due to the debuff. All right. So here we go against uh, future Ant-Man. The main thing that I want to do here is to keep my vigilance up. I started with a nice, good, long vigilance, uh, thanks to his SIG level. And the fight is over before my second vigilance is done. So the basic strategy there to keep him from getting any armor ups is, and, and you want to do that because there's no way that I know of with um, Gladiator to remove the armors once they're up. So you have to prevent them. While you have your personal vigilance, he won't get an armor up. That initial one lasts longer the higher you see. Then you fire a special two, and usually that'll last for the rest of the fight. Now here, I'm trying to get another um, auto block or evade or something. All right, so here we go. You know he auto blocks here, right? No auto block. And I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Let's just take him out. I'm not even trying to play with it. The reason that he doesn't auto evade, uh, auto attack or anything like that, auto block and evade, is because in Corvus's kit, he has something that's counterproductive when you're trying to get that true strike charge up. He reduces their chance to auto block and evade. So you're sitting here trying to get them to auto block and evade so you can get your true strike up. But in his kit, he's making it less likely for them to do either one of those things. What a design, right? All right, but anyway. Now, 
I had uh, asked to switch in Corvus. And this fight here, I was going to do with Lady Deathstrike. But I have another fight that would not have been good for Lady Deathstrike. And I'm like, ugh. So this fight here, I would have always brought Lady Deathstrike. But Corvus can do it too. As you can see, we're just chewing him down. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And he played right into it. Look at that. Bam. Done. My plan was to do just what you saw there. Be aggressive. Don't back off. Don't generate the dex, you know, precision buff thing. Nothing. Just go straight on. You know, act like it's no retreat, you know. And get to that special two. And it don't matter if he goes unstoppable or not. He's still going to take damage from that unblockable special two uh, from Corvus. All right. So now we're coming to the uh, mini. The second mini, rather, that I have to deal with. And that's going to be that... Quicksilver right there. And you notice that he is a uh, defender, House of Mirrors or whatever. He's actually both. And this is why I wanted the True Strike. Now, Gladiator could most likely do this fight. But Gladiator doesn't have the immunities. And Corvus, while he doesn't have the immunities either, he has his immortality. For at least a little bit. So I could play around with it even if I mess up. See, incinerate and poison. I don't believe either um, Corvus or Gladiator are immune to incinerates or poisons. So I was like, okay. This should work. But I don't have my true strike up. So I'm a little bit more nervous than... I would be if I had been able to get the true strike up before this fight. So I'm thinking, all right, maybe I'll get the true strike during the fight. So let's see if we can do that. All right, so there we go. All right, there's the auto block. So I'm like, all right, there we go. Boom, boom. Two strikes up. Just like that. Nice and easy. All right, and he's just hitting into my block. But you notice he's a bit tanky because he's 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 a uh, high ranking up here. And look at my health. Watch Corvus's health. Look at this, man. Corvus going down because I'm getting these um, uh, withers on me no matter what. And look at that. Oh, almost got him. And we do not want to lose our charges. We got him. So not a fight I would have been that happy to do with Corvus, but we got her done. All right. Uh, anyway, that is it for my participation in this war. We'll be back and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. All right. Look at that. Pretty, pretty uh, good lead that we had there. Shout out to our uh, MVPs here. Um, and we're well on our way to securing uh, Platinum 3. Uh, I don't think we'll get to Platinum 2 uh, this season, but Platinum 3 is exactly where I like. Uh, if we get to Platinum 2, I'll be happy about that too. All right, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.